Hi everyone. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Lily and this is Lily's Mix. Uh, what I'd like to do is introduce to you the way I like to teach. Because I'm a visual person, I learn visually. And so that's the way I like to teach. I like to see the right the correct answer repeated over and over again what I don't like is to see the right answer then the wrong answer then the right answer some right some wrong I don't like all that confusion in my mind I just want you to have one picture in your mind not a confusing bundle of facts so if you watch my videos I'm not going to show you the wrong way to do it okay I'm, I'm just going to show you and tell you what is going on and why. Okay, so if you subscribe to my channel, that's what you're going to get. Thank you. And I'm doing this while I show you my paintings that have dried. Lots of people want to see things that are dried. Some are varnished and some are not. So, um... During this video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I know I, what colors I'm going to use, so that's about it on that. I okay, everyone, I have my colors mixed up. I'm going to do a dirty pour, and this is an 8x8 eight eight canvas that I have primed with my homemade gesso that I've even had to alter because of the canvases that are so cheap that you just can't pour on them. They're just too thin. So... I have a blue transparent, an opaque white, this is semi-transparent, and this is semi-transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in my cup, um, I guess starting with the yellow. I hope that it's not too thin. I've already, did I say I've already put my silicone in? I'm going to go ahead and use all the color. And I stirred uh, some of it kind of vigorously because um, add water to some of the paints because they got thick as they were sitting around. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, I do tend to make my paints too thick, so I, today I found a way to test my paints, and that is, is to hold the stick up, I'll move this out of the way, and let's see if I, who I have paint in, yeah, my paints are people, I hold the stick up now and see if it moves on the stick, see how fast it moves on the stick, because I'm very, okay, here we go, one, two, Nice skid. This is kind of cool. I hope. As usual, I like to go around so they don't have to tilt. Put some paint on my edges. These, these edges will be tilted off. It's just that it gives the paint, it makes it slide more when I do tilt the middle. So pour, torch, oh my god, this is so beautiful, tilt, I 
my cup, this cup, it just flipped off the table and I don't have a drop cloth here. Luckily, my camera, I don't know, it's so beautiful. Okay, I have time yet, so I'm going to shut the camera off and think about this so that I get a beautiful composition. Okay, I thought about it and I don't like this and this might be okay. So I'm going to tilt towards this corner. I hope, I hope I'm right. I don't know you guys. That's kind of pretty. I'm still not very fond of this. I don't know what to do. I know. Nope. That wouldn't be right. How about this? Maybe that will create some cells. Now if I move it. That corner's gonna bug me. You should see these sides. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And one of the good reasons you scrape the underneath is because if it has something pulling on it, it will pull this part off. For me, I like to uh, stop the drips from pulling at the painting. So I right away get the drips off the The side. way I achieved this painting was to line up all the paintings that I have, that I love, and stare at the colors and decide what could be a little bit different. What, you know, what colors do I love? What colors go together? What colors peek through other colors? How much silicone did I use? For these, I used not very much. I mean, my cups were small, they're over here. So I used about five drops in each one of those cups, but the cups were filled to the top and you guys know that those are tiny little cups. I used um, DIY pouring medium. If you look back at my other videos, you'll know what that is. And you know, usually I explain it in every video because you never know if someone is stumbling on this video and it's their first time. But I can't do it every time because some people are subscribed to my channel. And, you know, I hope you guys like this painting. I love it. And thank you to the people who have been donating. I'm going to put a link. And subscribe, hit the bell, and be kind to one another.